Exxon Mobil engineers work side by side with plastic plant operators, looking beyond lubrication to help them achieve their business goals. When a team of engineers first visited Alligator Plastics in the Netherlands, it was to discuss their hydraulic fluid needs. But after close collaboration with ExxonMobil and its authorized distributor, Den Hartog, Alligator asked the team to help organize an energy survey to help them improve their energy efficiency. The results led to some impressive savings for the business. Hello, welcome to Alligator's injection molding plant here in Eindhoven with our distributor partner, Den Hartog. The plastic sector is highly competitive and energy intensive. That's why we work side by side with customers to deliver lubrication solutions that help optimize their operations. We have worked with Alligator for more than 15 years, helping improve their plant's performance. Today, the team has decided to conduct an energy audit to see if they can further enhance the efficiency of the plant. Here at Alligator Plastics, we have more than six years of experience in developing and manufacturing a wide range of technical plastic products. Ensuring that we operate as efficiently as possible, of course, without making concessions on quality, is our main focus. We hope this audit can support us in this effort. We know that hydraulic fluids are one area that can help. But what else can we uncover by reviewing the plant's overall energy use? Hi there, that's where I come in. My name is Dr. Robin Kent and I'm a Chartered Energy Surveyor who specialises in the plastics industry. Over the last few years I've been in more plastics companies than I care to admit, but I've found that most plastics processors can reduce their energy bill by about 30% by taking a range of simple actions. We'll get onto those in a minute. Firstly, we look at the amount of energy used and relate this to the production volume. Doing so can help you understand current energy management and create a unique energy fingerprint for your plant. This will enable you to not only understand, but also to predict consumption patterns with varying production volume. Next, we look at the injection moulding machines themselves, which typically account for around 60% of a plant's energy consumption. I start by monitoring the moulding cycle to understand the base load and the process load. Doing this means that you can adjust settings like barrel heating, screw back time, similar things to optimise a machine's energy use. We also need to ensure that the machine is the right size for the job. This sounds obvious, but it's important that we cover every process variable. We also look at the ancillaries and services. You'd be surprised how much energy use in a plant can be saved just by making sure that you turn off any motor or service that isn't actually contributing to production. Many of the main areas for potential energy savings actually lie beyond the main moulding machine. Peripherals and services, for example, should also be considered as they can account for up to 25% of the energy use. Take barrel heating. Effectively insulating the barrel can halve your heating requirements and reduce your energy use in the moulding cycle by 25%. This is where high performance hydraulic fluids also play a role. While they only account for around 1% of the operational spend, the right hydraulic fluid can help improve efficiency and increase productivity. Alligator uses Mobile DTE 10XL hydraulic fluid. This high performance lubricant can help reduce start up times, extend drain intervals and increase both filter and equipment life. All of which helps to cut costs and reduce unscheduled downtime ensuring plants like this run as efficiently as possible. Finally, it's crucial to look beyond the hardware. Training your staff and engaging them in every area of energy saving is key. And then there's the building itself. Looking again at areas like lighting and insulation can pay very good dividends for any injection molding company. We strive to optimize every part of both our plants. Roman's findings and recommendations can save us another 10, 50 or even 20% of our energy usage. That's a huge gain in our efforts to optimize our plant's efficiency, which will have a positive effect on our bottom line. I'm grateful for the close cooperation we have with the Hartog and Mobile's team and I look forward to implementing these changes together. It's great to see the potential savings that can be made through careful examination of energy uses. We look forward to continuing to help Bas and his team to optimize the efficiency of every day area of their operation. Working side by side, we are committed to helping companies like Alligator achieve their business goals together. Thanks for watching.